Hey everyone, I'm Christian. And I'm Sri Rama. And this year for Project for Awesome, we're helping out a charity that is very close to our school district and especially one of our teachers. We're helping out the Dravet Syndrome Foundation. The Dravet Syndrome Foundation is a volunteer-based non-profit organization that's dedicated to aggressively raising research money for the Dravet Syndrome. So, what is Dravet Syndrome? Dravet is a rare and devastating form of epilepsy that begins in infancy. Those with Dravet face a higher risk of SUDEP, which is short for sudden unexpe unexplained death due to epilepsy, and have conditions such as behavior and developmental delays, movement and balance issues, and disruptions of the autonomic nervous system. One in every 30,000 children are affected by this terrible disease. But the worst part of all is that this, they never outgrow it. What the Gervais Syndrome Foundation is trying to do is a couple of things. One, they're trying to increase awareness for, of Gervais through events and fundraisers, such as like charity walks and stuff. And second, they want to raise money so they can research a cure for this life-threatening disease. And lastly, they want to help out the individual families whose children have been affected by this terrible and devastating disease. So if you remember back like 45 seconds ago when we said that this charity was very close to one of our teachers, um, this is because our teacher, Mrs. Vayette, uh, her daughter was diagnosed with this one at one, right? A, a year, when she was one yeah, years old. and um, sadly, she uh, the disease took her life a year ago. A year ago, yeah. So um, it was a really sad time for all our school, especially our teacher. So we want uh, Mrs. Bea to talk a little bit about her own story. Um, my daughter Hayden had her first seizure when she was four months old, um, and the first seizure we thought was a febrile seizure, which is very common among um, young children when they have high fevers. Um, and we also thought that the second seizure may also be attributed to an illness where she had a high fever. Um, it wasn't until the third seizure that she had um, a few months after her first one that um, doctors started to suspect that it was something more. Um, and by her fourth seizure, she had officially been labeled with epilepsy. Um, it took us <laughs> a very long time to finally uh, determine that Hayden had something called Dravet syndrome. And it was after multiple EEG tests and um, MRIs and uh, hospital stays and prolonged seizures called status seizures that lasted oftentimes three hours or more um, that we finally realized that Hayden had Dravet. And the problem with Dravet is it's very severe. Many times children have very long, prolong prolonged seizures, um, like Hayden did, um, and no drugs, no anti-seizure medicines seem to work with it. Basically, what happened with Hayden is um, she had a seizure in the middle of the night and um, while she was sleeping and suffered from something called SUDEP, which is sudden unexpected death due to epilepsy. Um, it, and many children with Dravet, um, you know, run the risk of suit up, and there have been other children, unfortunately, that have died from it, um, just like Hayden did. Um, and unfortunately, because it isn't widely known, um, there isn't a, a lot of funding behind it, and there are researchers out there, but obviously, Dravet Foundation and the suit up research needs funding, and Unlike some of the other syndromes and diseases out there that get a lot of publicity, um, Dravet and SUDEP are not, not the same as many of these diseases, and unfortunately, um, they're not able to make as much headway um, because of that, because they're limited in funding. We're expecting another child now um, very shortly, and Dravet is a genetic disease, and there are genetic links. So the sooner they can find a cure and help for this disease, um, the sooner our family doesn't have to live in fear anymore. Well, we want to thank you guys for watching our Project for Awesome video for the Dravet Syndrome Foundation. And now for the links. This will also be in the description. Last year, a couple of students at our school, including myself and that guy behind the camera that you can't see, helped out the Vayettes through social media and getting on the radio. So social networks are here, like by Rama's face. and. Okay link to hear us on the radio is above right me. There. Hopefully I'm not pointing out of the frame. If you would like to donate directly to the Gervais Syndrome Foundation, the link is right here. And last but certainly not least, if you enjoyed this video and want to help raise money for the foundation, go to projectforawesome.com and vote for us.
please also comment, like, and subscribe to show your support. We really, really like to thank you again for watching our video. We hope you will be able to help us make a change that families and children have been affected by Dravet syndrome. Thank, thank you. you.